you came along, since you came along. Your touch is sunlight through the trees, your kisses are the ocean breeze. Everything's alright when you're with me. And I, you're my favorite thing. I, all the love that you bring. But it feels like I've opened my eyes again. Sometimes you need to look ahead and for me my proudest days are the, the times when children leave school, perhaps it's the leavers service. To see them on their very first day at school but also to share in their very last yeah, day at school and the, journey, and the journey that's been in between, it's, it's a privilege it is to a watch privilege. these children mature. An absolute privilege. I think the, the days of believing that creativity is only in your art lessons, your drama lessons, your music lessons are, are long gone. We live in a world that's incredibly complex and throwing up huge problems all the time. And without a creative approach, we are going to struggle um, worldwide to actually solve some of these incredibly difficult problems. Maths is everywhere. It's in, in English, in our grounds and as soon as we make it applicable, suddenly light bulbs in the classroom happen and that's what makes the subject so special. Also we do like a lot of outdoor learning and there's a lot of outdoors and at some schools you don't really get that. Um, a better understanding of the world Curiosity is not being afraid to think. I'm a very open-minded person and I just, it's a very open-minded school. A passion for literature gives our children vast imaginations, uh, limitless creativity and the opportunity to experience the extraordinary. Yeah, because everything around us is science, like uh -huh. the grass is science, um, everything is created by science. Uh, what is punishment and what is sin? Mm -hmm. um, and I find that really interesting. If I was a kid, I'd go through it because it's just, you, you just find so, so many things and it's just, if you see something, you normally want to go through it. You don't want to stand there and be afraid. I guess it's never giving up um, to keep going because obviously some things are going to be hard. Well, this school's kind of made me who I am today. I would encourage anyone to come here because it's given me confidence. Wolverhampton has made some uh, some changes from in me. It's it's made me more. It's made me understand the world. It's made me like. It's made me think more about myself. We protect their childhood by allowing them to play and allowing them to um, take risks, find their sense of adventure. Uh, you go a long way in the world if you are kind and people will remember you. It's an undervalued skill that I think as adults we sometimes overlook. Friendship at my school has always been about letting me be myself.
I see the whole world in your eyes It's like I've known you all my life We just feel so right So I pour my heart into your hands It's like you really understand You love the way I am And I concentrate a lot on uh, independence um, and making sure that they think for themselves. I'm quite proud of myself just because now I don't have to rely on anyone else to do stuff for me. I think it's the school that's helped me to build my character, to be confident in my ability to move on. I would say that it's been inspiring to say the least. I've seen some kids go through the school and they've gone on to do amazing things. You don't have to be born extraordinary to do extraordinary things. I really admire people like Nelson Mandela or Mahatma Gandhi and people like the suffragettes. It's this sense of family with colleagues, with the children, with the parents. Um, we are one huge community. I settled here really quickly made lots of friends. They used to have really good experience and it's really fun. I think boarding is a heartbeat of, of lots of uh, prep schools, but I think this has a real community feel. Cause it feels like I've opened my eyes again And the colours are golden and bright again There's a song in my heart I feel like I belong It's a better place since you came along better place since you came along. Yeah, joy is a good word and we thought very carefully about putting that in our mission statement. We want the children at Warhampton to really experience the joy of learning. And I haven't seen the word joy in many other mission statements actually. It's a really, it's a very short word, but it's a very strong word. And I think every school should, should really be a joyful place. Perhaps it's naive to think every experience at school is always going to be joyful. Actually, there's quite a lot of hard graft in a school. But in years to come, I hope boys and girls who've been at Warhampton will look back and say that school had a lot of joy and actually that, that joy really rubbed off on me and, and helped shape who I am today. So joy is a strong word and I think it really underpins a lot of what we're trying to do at this gorgeous school. And I think joy, it goes so much deeper than just being happy at school. It, it's a, a much more potent word. And again, I think, I think at this point in their lives, in a gorgeous school, joy is not an overstatement. It, it's something that can and should be attained in, in a really strong school.
I think there are loads of things at Wolhampton we really champion and, and academics are a really important part of that. But for me, personally, there's nothing more important than developing character. Character really matters and at the end of the day I think it's character which will really take our children a long way in life, more so than algebraic equations and writing a beautiful essay, useful though those skills are, but, but really developing and celebrating character, so skills of resilience and courage and, and, and compassion and, and kindness and having curious minds and knowing how a team really works. Those things are, I think, foundational at Wolhampton. Those, are the, that, those things are at the heart of our mission statement. And in years to come, I hope our boys and girls, when they leave, as they leave the nest, we're able to say of that boy or that girl, they are an impressive character. And I think if we can do that, we look at each other and we say, job done. Well, I think, I, I, I think four years on, there's a great sense of reward and fulfillment because that gorgeous, slightly dusty school that we visited uh, feels like it, it is shining again and it is a place of joy and there's still lots to do, but I see a lot of people with a skip in their step. And I think if you distill a school down to its absolute core elements, uh, you couldn't ask for much more than that. What do you think? Yeah, she agrees. Everything's alright